Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. It's Moosoup here, how's it going? Hope you're all doing well on this fine day. So today we're going to be looking at Minecraft Dungeons and what to expect upon its release on Tuesday. So I'm one of the lucky people that actually got to play the Minecraft Dungeons beta and some people didn't get to play it, which is very sad. And if you didn't, there'll be some videos on the iCards just above me right now to the playlist which I made on the Minecraft Dungeons beta. So after this video, go give them a watch if you want. They're very good videos, very entertaining, yes, yes, yes. Would recommend f five stars, yes. So today we're going to be having a look at Minecraft Dungeons and what to expect from the game when it comes out. Right, so one of the first things that you can expect from Minecraft Dungeons when it comes out is story. Now, Minecraft originally has not really had a story, but now Mojang are working on making a proper story to go along with the Dungeons game. Now, I don't think they're going to be focusing on story too much, but when I played the beta, all of the levels were procedurally generated, so when you went back, you'd play basically a different level. The end goal was about the same, and obviously there's middle parts of the story which had to fit in, but it was like playing a different level each time, which was quite interesting. So you could go back and basically play a completely different level. Now hopefully once the game has ended, it won't just be playing over different story missions over and over again. There'll be some dungeons to hopefully keep players engaged in the game. They have announced that there's going to be DLC. I don't know if that's going to be paid or free. But uh, yeah, that is also in the game. Now, a lot of people refer to this game as a Diablo ripoff. It's not really anything like that. I feel like it's a completely different game. It's not as complex as Diablo. It is a dungeon crawler, which is why people are saying it's the same thing but it's it's quite different it's simple um it's entertaining i feel like it's just one of those games which is quite fun to keep repeating and playing over and over again so once you start the game you will pick a character from a set list of skins you can't upload your own skin which is a big rip because i want my moose skin in the game but that's not going to happen so just stop moaning about it we're all in the same boat here, okay? So once you've picked your character, you'll start your quest to become the most powerful dungeon crawler on Minecraft Dungeons. Now, if you're not familiar with the actual story of Minecraft Dungeons, basically it's about a small little illager who has been bullied by villagers because he's got a sideways looking head and he's very small. It's basically sizeism, it's, it's not good. And he finds the orb I forgot what it is, the orb. I'm just going to call it the orb, which basically makes him all powerful and all great. And then he uses that power to enforce his rule over the villagers and the illagers and the pillagers and all those lidges. So that's basically the story. And all you're going to be doing is fighting off the arch illager in hopes to save the villagers' lives. Yes. See, this is where sizeism gets you, it's just, it's just wrong. Right, so moving on, the next thing we're going to be talking about is dungeons. So as you've guessed from the name, it's called Minecraft Dungeons, and you'll be spending majority of your time in dungeons. Now, as I said, there will be missions which won't be in dungeons, but for the majority of the time, you will be probably in a dungeon. So during the beta, a lot of people didn't actually realise if you just kept playing the game over and over again, you would find a secret dungeon called the Creepy Crypt. It took a while for people to figure this out. It actually took me a while. I thought in the second episode of the beta thing, I was like, wait a minute. Is that the end of the game? Well, end of the beta? And it turned out there was actually more. So I feel like a lot of things, it could be revealed from playing missions over and over again because i don't know it seems like there's going to be a lot of secrets in this game now back to the matter at hand as i said you're going to be spending most of your times in dungeons now these dungeons are procedurally generated like everything else they've been handcrafted by the mojang team but they're all pretty much different and you can get some really good sources of loot from these dungeons now i spent a lot of time in the beta just playing them over and over again I even invited some other people to help me fight through the dungeons, which was very fun. And one of the great things about dungeons is the loot that you get from dungeons. How many times am I going to say that? Dungeons. 
bloody dungeons. Yes, yeah, so you're going to get some really good loot from raiding these dungeons all the time. Now, the dungeon that I played in the beta, and I'm, I'm pretty sure everyone else would have played it, wasn't too challenging. There was no difficulty level increasements, which there is on the game. You can make the game harder for yourself. But that wasn't available at the time at the beta. And also there wasn't actually any proper boss in the dungeons. Which I would like to see. I'm assuming there will be. It would only make sense to have bosses in the dungeons. So yeah. I'm hoping the dungeons will be like the Elder Scrolls Online dungeons. Where there will be multiple bosses. Similar to like raids from different games like Destiny and stuff like that. But for the most part you'll just be spending your time killing enemies over and over again. Which I mean sounds kind of repetitive but... But it's also entertaining finding lots of different loot and also finding the different types of mobs which are in the game. Now if you follow the Minecraft Dungeons community quite closely, you'll know that there is no classes in Minecraft Dungeons. You can build your own class to whatever you want. So you can make yourself a mage, you can make yourself a wizard, you can make yourself a warrior, you can make yourself a... Assassin? Yes? Yeah, there's lots of things you can actually do, and there's a lot of weapons that can make this work. Now, in my opinion, I really like the idea of this because it means you're not stuck with one sort of build. You can basically keep playing as that character and make multiple different builds just by getting different loot. But if you really wanted, you could just stick that character as one build and then make another character anyway, because you can have multiple characters, you can duplicate characters. It's very cool. But I really like how the class system works. And you can basically change on command to whatever build you want in case you're in a raid or you're in a dungeon and your team needs a healer but they don't have one. You can basically change your character to that if you wanted to help your team out even more. So I really like the versatility of the game, if that even makes sense, yes. So as I said before, when you're doing dungeons, you tend to get a lot, and I mean a lot, of loot. And that gear, as I said, can be used to build different classes. But what did I think of that gear? So you've got different rarities as the game goes through. You've got like white rarities and then there's green, which is rare. And I'm pretty sure there will be more rarities between that. But there was that, there was, there was white, which was common. There was green, which was rare. And then there were unique items. Now, unique items, I feel like they need some work. For those who don't know what a unique item is in Minecraft Dungeons, it's similar to that of a legendary or an exotic or a gold weapon or armor piece in any other game. So if you played Borderlands, Destiny, any sort of looter shooter RPG game. And they usually have special perks that make them unique compared to other pieces of armor and weapons in the game. Now the reason why I said that they need some work is because the perks that they give off are basically same as enchantments that you can actually get. Now every piece of gear has the option to have three enchantments depending on what you get. It sometimes can have one or two and then you get to choose which enchantments you use. Now the thing is Unique weapons seem to have the same perks which you can get as enchantments. Which I think is quite weird considering they're called unique items. It's weird that you can make a knockoff version of that item if you wanted. So I really think they should work on making the items more unique. Now the gear sets are more unique compared to the weapons. Now the fox armor is a better version of the wolf's armor. And it has similar perks but they are better which makes that piece of armor more unique. So I do like the unique armor pieces, but the unique weapons they really need to work on to make them stand out. Now I'm not digging at the unique weapons, they were really fun to use and really good. If you couldn't find just a normal weapon with that enchantment on it, but they, they do need some work on. Mojang, please work on the unique weapons please. Now moving on, there are a lot, and I mean a lot, of unique pieces of gear in the game. Especially in the beta, there was quite a lot. I, I'm pretty sure I almost got all of them. There was a few different ones that I didn't get, but they were all really fun to use. Now the good thing about Minecraft Dungeons, there is a lot of gear to work with, 
And all that gear has enchantments. Now, one thing I didn't know about enchantments, you can actually stack enchantments. Now, if you've got the sharpness enchantment, you can basically level it up to three. And then if you get it twice, you can get it stacked. I don't know if you can get it more than twice stacked, but you can get sharpness six, which is insane. Trust me, that's insane. I don't know if there is an option to get sharpness nine. There could be, but I've never seen it, so. So enchantments are pretty cool and pretty pretty overpowered if you get the right one so make sure you do your research on enchantments there are quite a few different ones now there are also enchantments which are common and there's some rare ones as well so they can be quite hard to find on our pieces but for the most part things like the simple ones the common ones like sharpness are probably the ones you want to go for if you want to go for max damage now because of these enchantments you can make your build go even further in depth from what it actually does you can have chain attacks, all these different enchantments, which you can make your build even more unique. I really like how detailed Mojang has gone with this and making your character really unique. Right, moving on to the next thing, we need to talk about artifacts. Now, artifacts are very cool, as in you can have three different artifacts, things that make you sprint faster, things that make you attack more, do more damage, summon pets. You can summon iron golems, that, that, that's insane, that's insane, that looks cool. You can summon dogs, if you want a doggo, I'm assuming there's probably going to be a cat. Very cool. Now, I really like artifacts, they make the game a bit more unique, and they allow a bit more customization towards your class. And depending on what artifacts you have depends on what abilities your character can do. So I really like artifacts and I hope there's quite a lot of them. There wasn't many in the beta, which was sad because there was more weapons, but there wasn't that many artifacts. But the artifacts that we had were pretty cool. Fire arrows, dogs, sick, awesome. I really like the artifacts. I just hope they have a lot more artifacts when the game comes out on Tuesday. So what are you going to be fighting when you're going into the dungeons? Now, if you've played Minecraft before, you're going to expect to see a lot of familiar mobs such as zombies, skeletons, and spiders. But there are some new mobs such as necromancers and wraiths. And also, I'm assuming there'll be quite a lot of other new mobs that we get to experience, such as the redstone monstrosity. Now, he's probably going to be a boss, but there are quite a lot of mobs that are going to be coming into Minecraft Dungeons. Now, I was thinking about this the other day. So, I was looking at a mod on Minecraft, which allowed you to bring in new mobs from the Minecraft Dungeons series. Now, if they add new mobs into this game, I'm pretty sure they will add them into Minecraft eventually because they're following along with the style and I believe they really want to bring the Minecraft world to life. So hopefully they'll bring some of those mobs to actual Minecraft. Now here's something you probably need to know about mobs in Minecraft Dungeons. There can be enchanted variants of Minecraft mobs. So they're harder to kill, they have effects that other mobs don't have. Like you can have enchanted creepers which are basically like supercharged creepers and they can spread fire as they walk. There's also the sources which are the pillager mobs, which can make mobs stronger and deal more damage. So look out for that when the game comes out. Now, if you've played Minecraft before, you're probably gonna expect some sort of building mechanic in Minecraft Dungeons. Well, that's not gonna happen. There's no building whatsoever. It's all about loot. It's an action RPG. You're not gonna expect to be doing any sort of building. It's all about the loot that you're going to be getting so don't expect to do any building when you buy the game and if you do want to do some building just buy minecraft or even better just get fortnite it's free you can build all you want go and crank some 90s you little scrub so as i said before i actually got to play some online co-op but what is the offline co-op going to function like so me and my brother managed to get this to work it's basically like an old-fashioned co-op game where your health and your abilities appear on screen on either side and you can see both the characters and as you go further away the screen will move and you have to catch up with each other so the co-op is pretty interesting it's pretty fun and i feel like this game is a perfect game for something like that just sitting on the couch and having fun with your friends and i really like minecraft dungeons for that and i hope to be doing that in the future at some point now another thing about co-op 
is there going to be crossplay? Now, Mojang have said at launch there's not going to be any sort of crossplay, but they are looking into it. Crossplay is a big thing in the gaming industry. A lot of people love not having to switch platforms and being able to play with other people on the same device. And I really think this is going to be a good idea. I hope they do cross save because I've bought a Nintendo Switch and I really want to play Minecraft Dungeons on my Switch and then just go and play it on my PC when I'm doing my recording for it. But yeah, that's what you can expect from crossplay. It will come eventually, but it's not going to be there from the start. Right, so I'm pretty sure we've talked through everything about Minecraft Dungeons so far. But what do I think of the game? Now, I'm really hoping the game doesn't just end at the story. I hope there's a lot of other things to do after because I need the content, please. The beta was really fun to play. I really enjoyed it. I, I liked everything from the co-op to the unique items. The unique items definitely need some more uniqueness to them, but I really like them so far. They all look really cool. I also really love the artifacts and then the enchantments and how you can make your character your own. I believe this game is going to be really fun to play with other people and people at home. Yeah, so yeah, I would recommend buying this game if you like sort of dungeon crawlers or looters if you like just to chill and relax and just play a game this is probably going to be the game for you similar to minecraft it's just a chill game but it's going to be a bit more challenging compared to minecraft so yeah that's minecraft dungeons in a nutshell really um it comes out on tuesday may 26 if you want to buy it go buy it yeah uh, I'm probably going to be playing with some subscribers so if you want to do that just hit me up in the comments tell me what you think of this video down in the comments and what you think of Minecraft Dungeons so far if you've played it or seen it. Um, but I'll see you guys in the next blooming video which will probably be soon because Minecraft Dungeons comes out. But yeah, um, that's it. That's Minecraft Dungeons for you. I'll see you guys in the next bloody video. Have a great day and I'll see you later.